Hello, my name is Edward Shower. I'm pastor of uh, North Springs Church here in Lionel Lakes. And uh, I, I, I just want to I encourage you, as uh, those of you that are watching this, uh, this clip here, you know, the importance of repentance. You know, without repentance, you wouldn't have come to the Lord Jesus Christ, but it was through repentance that we are born again. I want to just encourage you once again, you know, to keep that heart of repentance, a repentant heart God will bless. A, a, a broken and a contrite heart, the, the scripture says that God will always bless that, that heart. You know, the, the, the Bible says that righteousness exalts a nation, exalts a a people exalts an individual but sin is a reproach and sin has to be dealt with and has to be dealt with in a repentance and so i just want to encourage you you know that god's heart is for anyone that will come on their knees and call upon the name of the lord and you know ask for forgiveness we have offended god we have failed god in many different ways as a nation we need to repent america needs to repent we need to repent because we've allowed abortion. You know, uh, marriage is now is not defined between a, a man and a woman. Marriage is defined in many different ways, and all that breaks the heart of God. And we, as a people, we need to repent collectively as a as a body of Christ and individually. And so, don't shun away repentance. Let not the teachings that are prevailing today to say you don't need to repent of your sin. You know, captivate you. We all have to come before the Lord and ask for his forgiveness and God will hear our confession and when we repent of our sins he makes us righteous once again through the blood of his son Jesus Christ and I want to just take a moment here to pray together even as, the, uh, as uh, those of you that are watching this Father we, we want to thank you we want to bless you oh God that uh, you, you have opened the door for us that we can come before the throne of God through the blood of Jesus Christ and ask for forgiveness even in time of need. We thank you, O oh Lord, that you, your righteousness, O oh God, is something that you impart on us. And we repent of our sins. I repent of my own sins. I repent the sins of my church. I repent the sins of this nation. Repent the sin of the believers in general. We ask you, O oh God, that you forgive us. May you fill us again with the joy of our, the Lord in our hearts, that we may live our lives in true repentance of heart and with a clean heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.